welcome to my new video. This time I'd like to show you some parts of my working process with multiliners and copics. Here you can see what tools I used and a detailed copic color chart. So the line art first. As you can see, I've already prepared the sketch and some of the line art in advance. I prefer thin lines, so I really need a steady hand. Speed up! I'm always really nervous during this stage. I definitely prefer coloring. <laughs> it's much more relaxing. It looks easier in this better version, actually. It looks like I know what I'm doing. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> my own hand as a reference. Actually turned out fine here. Even the straight lines. I usually avoid using a ruler where I can because I want to have a natural feel to the lines. Shigemaru is a lot of fun to draw. He has a quite distinctive face with those hollow cheekbones, so not your usual anime stereotype. I think I captured him alright, at least his moodiness. <laughs> so he's so not fond of Yako's friends. If you know that show, could you tell me what words he used to describe the beehive members in your language? So the German dub was quite creative. Ha monster, hairy monsters, rothaarige Handfeger. Red-haired handbrush, langhaardackel, long-haired dachshund, and feuerlocke fire curl. By the way, I was always confused how it was okay for Hashizo-chan to have blue hair while the others were cursed. So there we go, double standards. Or maybe it was just because uh, blue hair was considered something like 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 black hair. <laughs> I don't know. And yes, Giuliano. I think he used a very fine tip here. And on to the fun. I admit I don't know what happened to the first part, I must have deleted it somehow. That's quite a shame. So my approach is more intuitive than systematic, at least in the initial phase. I have a rough image of the color scheme in mind and then like to create an atmosphere or eye catcher first. So in this case it's Yako's face, especially the eyes, and the different shades of yellow. This is also important for my motivation to continue. The more I like it, the faster I proceed and complete. So what am I doing here? A tutorial for impatient and unorganized people? Let's call it going with the flow. Some words about the paper. It's not Copic or marker paper. Actually, just a thicker sketch paper and not the optimum choice for Copics. Also from economic point of view, because uh, the ink gets quite soaked up by the paper. But I like the effect very much, so I'm still using it. In a way it feels like working with watercolor. Here I'm adding a little pink to the hair. Sometimes I like to be bold. And I think it creates a nice effect. As you can see, it is soaking wet, so blending works well and creates a soft and saturated effect I really like. But make sure to test the ink level of your Copic in advance, otherwise it's just bleeding out and you don't want that. 
So just no. The horror of the uncontrollable. So here it is, Ashisa's infamous blue hair. Some details in the hair again, it's always for relaxing. <laughs> quite some time and many layers to get a good result, so this is still a little difficult to do with Copic, so I don't know. I think I've wasted a lot of ink here. <laughs> well, cleaning up the lines a little. And some details in the eyes. So smaller parts like these definitely are a challenge with Copics. You need to get very close to the paper and apply the tip very lightly. Adding some deeper shadow to her hair. I think that was my favorite part. I really love how the contrast adds to the depth and softness. And it also gives some more of a three-dimensional feel. where I run out of material. Sorry, I hope you had fun watching my messy working process and maybe it helps you in a way. See you!